everyone and welcome back to Do It Girl. So we've done a lot of DIY jewelry projects together, like the chain link bracelet video and the DIY dream catcher necklace. So how about we do a craft where we can organize our jewelry and display it in a really awesome way. So this week I'm going to show you how you can make your own jewelry tree. Let's do it girl. Now there are several ways of making a jewelry tree, but all you're really going to need is some sticks. I picked out this really sturdy branch, but you could also just take a walk through the park and pick out some smaller twigs too. Remember that the whole point here is to hang your jewelry, so no matter what type of twig you find, make sure that it has a lot of little nubs sticking out. Sticking out. It's fitting in order for you to hang your jewelry. You're also going to need super glue, clay, fillers such as clear plastic gems, and a base container to hold your jewelry tree. Now your container can be anything from a small coffee can to a really big flower base. I would say the heavier the better so that way it doesn't fall over once you place your sticks in and more importantly, once you hang your jewelry. I'm going to be using this really cute polka dot flower pot that I got on clearance at a craft store for two bucks. Finally, if you want a jewelry tree that's as pretty as it is practical, you're going to need some paint. Both acrylic paint and spray paint will work here. I'd recommend nabbing a color that matches your base container. Since my flower pot is orange and white, I'm going to go with white paint. All right, here we go, step one. The first step is to arrange your sticks into your final tree design. Now if you have a multitude of sticks, you can just place them all into your pot and arrange them until you get the design that you like. However, since I only have one main branch, I'm going to be just placing it into my pot. If you're having a hard time maneuvering the sticks inside of your base container, go ahead and be like me and grab some clay in order to stick your sticks, pun intended, into the clay so that everything stays locked into place. If you have multiple sticks, you can put them all in in order to branch everything out. You won't be seeing the clay later, so it doesn't matter what color it is. The most important thing here is to make sure that your tree doesn't start branching out Wow, the wordplay here is endless. Um, until about an inch or two from the top of your container because we're going to be filling up the container later on. If your original branch doesn't have all the nubs that you want, just super glue smaller sticks right onto the branch to create the nubs yourself. We're going to be painting it over anyway so you won't even see the glue. Now that you've got your tree designed the way you want it, it's time to glam it up a bit. Paint your sticks, making sure to get each and every nub until everything is fully colored. Feel free to put on as many coats as you need. Montage time. When finished, go ahead and take a breather and let the paint dry. Not like take a breather of the paint because that's dangerous, you know. Just uh, go wait somewhere else. Step three, technically you're all done. Now if you wanna keep your branches locked into place and to make it that much cuter, go ahead and add in your filler. Fill up your container to the very top with filler such as pebbles, marbles, or sand. Like I said, I'm going to be using clear plastic gems for my container. At the same time that I found my branch, I also stumbled upon a couple of pine cones. So I thought another additional touch would be fun is to paint a pine cone white and to also plant it with my tree. The last step is to add your jewelry anywhere and everywhere all over your tree. And you're all done. I have to mention here that of course you should divvy up your jewelry based on the size of your tree. If you have thicker, sturdier branches, then go ahead and hang your longer, heavier necklaces and bracelets. If you wanna make a smaller tree or one with thinner twigs, that's when you should only add earrings, rings, and lighter bracelets. I absolutely love this craft, which costs you nothing more than just an hour of your time. You can match it to your room, you can make it any size you want, and most importantly, you now have a place where you can hang all of your new summer accessories. They say that money doesn't grow on trees, but Jewelry sure does. <laughs> what? How did you make your jewelry tree? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome DIYs like this one. I need space for two videos. I'm gonna do this and then this. Okay, I got that. At the same time, sorry. At the same. At the team time. At the team sign. Hey everybody and welcome back to Doolery Doolery Girl. <laughs> welcome back to Doolery Girl. The girl who does Doolery.